We're here at World Time Attack and I've just spotted Colin Wilshire's uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse drag car. Now recently Colin uh, set the world record mile an hour for a four cylinder engine. He's run as quick as 650 at a world record 223 mile an hour. So this is one four cylinder engine that's making some serious power. As you could imagine with anything that's right on that cutting edge, uh, there's a few little tricks that Colin's had up his sleeve and uh, I just wanted to talk you through some of the technology on this car. Now what you can see here is we've got a little VDO drive-by wire throttle motor and that's on the intercooler pipe or the charge pipe that comes out of the turbocharger. Now, there's a few things that that little drive-by wire throttle body is doing. Uh, one of the first functions is getting really stable boost control on the two-step or launch control is really critical. You want to make sure that every time you sidestep that clutch the engine RPM is rock solid and we've also got exactly the same boost. Now, that's critical for the guy that's setting up the clutch so we've always got a consistent amount of engine power when the car actually leaves the line. So traditionally it's common to see a, an, an external wastegate on that intercooler pipe and that's being used for boost control. It works but it's also quite hard to adjust. So Colin's gone to the drive-by wire throttle motor and that's uh, easy to adjust through the ECU to get basically any amount of boost he wants on the start line and as I say it's very easy to adjust. So that's one function. The other function if he wants he can actually use the drive-by wire throttle motor as a blow-off valve so there's no need for a conventional blow-off valve. You can do all of that through the drive-by wire throttle motor. And the last thing is a little bit more subtle. With these uh, small capacity engines, obviously we've got a massive turbocharger on the engine. Uh, when you're running the car and everything's working fine, that'll work well. If for uh, some reason the car gets loose, uh, Colin has to pedal the car or short shift, what that can do is drop down lower in the rev range, and at that point we've still got a huge amount of boost pressure that the turbo is producing, and that can actually run the turbocharger into surge. So at that point, basically what's happening is the compressor, the turbocharger, is pumping more air than the engine can consume and you get that surge which is uh, quite destructive as well. So in that instance the drive-by wire throttle motor can be open to relieve the, uh, the excess boost, allow that turbocharger to breathe and uh, move that air and get the engine and compressor out of that surge area. And that's also, they're using the turbo speed sensor that you can see there to, uh, to log that and monitor when the turbocharger is actually moving into surge. So that's some of the technology that you can see here on this world record holding drag car. We love to see how that's being used to make this car go faster. For online tuning courses, visit learntotune.com.